All right, it has been eight months since a Virginia high school student was killed in a horrible crash. It happened on a dangerous road back in Stafford County. Now Helen's law is one step closer to becoming reality thanks to her friends who have not stopped pushing for change, first at the county level and now at the General Assembly. Her life was fun and she was joyful and she was so smart. It was nearly a year ago Helen Wang made a left turn onto Kellogg Mill Road in Stafford County. She was hit by a dump truck and killed instantly, a truck she never saw coming because overgrown trees were blocking her view. It was her 17th birthday. Her friends and even students who didn't know her have made it their mission to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. We didn't just let it go. We, we held on and we fought to the end. We will fight to the end because who's next? There's going to be another accident and then someone else is next. I mean, how far do you, how, how much do you have to lose before you say, OK, something needs to be done? They're asking lawmakers to pass a bill that would give localities more power. It would allow counties to pass an ordinance requiring private property owners to remove overgrown trees within five feet of a roadway if it obstructs the vision of drivers. Stafford County has countless back roads that have no shoulder, severely overgrown vegetation, tight corners, and a host of other safety issues. Though the pain of Helen's death and the time lost to grief and suffering can never be reversed, passing this bill will allow for a much happier ending to the story. Her spirit is so fiery in us that we have the opportunity to do this, so why not stand up and do something for her? She sees our hearts and she knows that we've worked so hard for her and we're, it's all about her. And there are, of course, some challenges ahead. Lawmakers have concerns about liability, but those are all things that are still being worked out. The bill did make it through the Senate, though, and is now heading to the House. Tony. All right.